Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out touring some of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. This location is at 2 Bryant Street in Greenville, South Carolina. That's over in the uh, Brandon Mill area. This house is going to look a little rough on the inside, but on the outside it has uh, appears to be a good roof. It also has aluminum siding. Uh, it needs a little work around the trim. The yard needs cleaning up. and. I don't know if the bank that owns this is going to, what they're going to do to the yard. There's a little ladder up there. I'm going to give it to them. Hopefully they'll mow the grass. And when you come out here, the house may be boarded up. But we'll have one board loose on the front door. So bring a flashlight uh, if you come to visit this house. On the inside, it has some paneling, but you're going to need a kitchen and a bath. And I think this house will fix up pretty nice. I've talked to the neighbor across the street. She's a tenant, but her grandmother lives on the corner, and she named off everybody on this street. And I think most of these are owner-occupied homes. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, fix it up. You'll have a good little neighborhood. Probably get you some steady rent. We're just a few blocks from West Greenville and the Artist District, and I see this area starting to turn over and change. So here's a potential for some future profit. All right, then we'll head on inside and show you around and we'll talk about the good and the bad. Okay, I'm looking inside and I want to make note, this is aluminum siding on here. Let me just tap it for you. So that's already done. And there's a notice here about the one of the grass mode and all. And I'll turn that into the bank and maybe they'll come on out here and do it. All right, we're just inside the front door. There's some debris in here. That'll be easy. Put it by the curb, let her go. But what I'm looking at is these paneled walls. That's sufficient. I wouldn't do anything to them. They look pretty good. Just clean them up. Uh, the floors was painted. It's hardwood floors. I'm gonna let you see what I can. But I think this room would fix pretty good. Might have to put a little glass in a few windows, but. It's not that bad and the ceiling looks pretty good. So that's one room that not that bad. This is our uh, next room. I would call this a bedroom maybe. You know, these houses were built before they had closets. Everybody used it, we called them shift robes or wardrobes. But this one has paneling on the bottom and uh, just prep up the walls and paint them. And, I think most of the glass is in these windows and rip this carpet up and paint the floor. That's what I see them do in most of these houses. All right, we'll come back to another bedroom. I'll just stand over here in the corner and it's like the other room, except this is in a little better condition. Now, I did note some plastic up there on the ceiling it's possible somebody stepped through or something and uh, they didn't want the insulation to fall. I don't know you'll have to look at it but the roof on the outside of the house looks good. So I think this room will probably paint rip up the carpet or if you want to put carpet back that's fine. But these little old houses are going to go up in value because they're close to town and people's tired of sitting out there on that interstate trying to get to work and I see it happening. It just keeps marching this way. All right, the kitchen has paneling all the way floor to ceiling, but the cabinets are a disaster. I don't know that you can keep these. You'll probably have to put some new cabinets. Uh, I'm looking at those windows. They look okay, and there's some floor in here. It probably needs to be replaced. But in a little bit of ceiling paint popping off, that should be easy to fix. There's no light fixtures in the house. They've taken those. But I do see some wire hanging down, so I don't know that the wiring's been taken out or not. All right, let's step back to this room. Um, this is the bathroom, and the sink, tub, toilet, all that's disappeared. So you'll need to replace them. There's a plot place over on uh, White Horse Road. It has a lot of this stuff and habitat. Y'all know where to find it. Anyway, Ceiling looks good, just needs some light fixtures. Um, probably change out that floor, it's plywood. All right, we've got a storage room over here, I call it. And just as I step toward the door of it, there's a little soft place in the floor. 
that's about the worst place I've felt walking around. But this is some kind of storage, maybe a little office extra. And that piece of plywood there is what you saw on the other side of that second bedroom. There's a doorway from it to back here. Now it's possible if you wanted to, you might could use this room uh, for a second bath. It doesn't look too bad. You know, paint and carpet and flooring will go a long way in this house. I know you got to put some cabinets in it, but that's the way it is. It needs a back door too, but I think the bank's going to, I think I got a note that says they're going to board this up. Somebody had a shed out there. They made it out of pallets. That was ingenious. Um, looks like the lot is fenced on a couple of sides, which should help it, but it just needs cleaning up around here. It'd make all the world a difference. Here's the back of the house. I think they must have had the washer dryer in that, uh, what I call that storage room. And a little bit of boards around the edge needs replacing that I see. But look at that roof, it's not that bad. So we may have something here that you can rehab and make some money on. I've walked around, it's, I want you to come out here and look around at yourself. It's not a bad house. I'm gonna call a bank in the morning and see. I think they're gonna board it up. But the aluminum looks okay. It might can stand a little paint here and there, but you know, it's hard to beat aluminum siding and it is paintable. All right, I think we'll call this video over. But we got the makings of a good house here. All right, that's gonna wrap us up here at uh, 2 Bryant Street. Remember, uh, we're just a few blocks from the, that art district that's uh, West Greenville's coming along, and I'm sure when the city gets some money, they're gonna pour it in there and fix up the sidewalks and all just like downtown. So this is probably a good long-term investment, get it fixed up a little bit, rent it, and maybe eventually later on, it might go to somebody that had a good, decent profit. I've watched these uh improvements march out of town and they just get better and better and the prices go up and up and somebody living here won't have to sit in line on 385 trying to get to work downtown all right before i leave just want to talk to you about a couple of things one it's online only remember that we do not come to the premises to uh, take your bids. Also read your contract package. There's some information in there that you need. Uh, probably some questions you have. We'll, we try to anticipate the answers and we'll try to have them there for you. If you need some clarification about something or have additional questions, give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen. We're always there, glad to help you, walk you through the process. We're very patient about it and we want you to be comfortable with bidding. We want you to be comfortable after you buy it. All right, I'm gonna move along. Uh, look at some other property. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope it encourage you to come out and look this property over. It's not as bad as it looks in this picture. Uh, just imagine the grass being mown and uh, the debris taken out inside and then I think you've got something to work with. All right, um, don't forget, online only, terryhow.com, that's the place.